Hi everyone, in this video I will be comparing the speeds of two AMD Ryzen 7 CPUs. I'm talking here about the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X and the AMD Ryzen 7 5700G. I will be covering of course the absolute speed of these CPUs by performing two benchmarks but also I will be emphasizing on the content creation side so I'm gonna see how these CPUs cope with content creation, with video exporting and with video transformation. So let's start. The first test I'm doing is with Cinebench R23. Cinebench will stress the CPU to the maximum and this way we can determine the speed of the CPU under heavy stress. Here I performed the multi-core test and I configured Cinebench to run for 5 minutes straight. The AMD Ryzen 7 5800X reached a score of 13,150 and the temperature it reached was 90 degrees and even with this temperature it was still clocking 4.5 gigahertz. The Ryzen 7 5700G reached a score of 11,412 and the maximum temperature it reached was 75 degrees. So here of course 5800X won this test. In the next test I will be exporting a video in VSDC. VSDC is the software I use to create my videos. So the video is 19 minutes long and I'm exporting it in 4K 30 frames per second and I'm not using any GPU acceleration here so to be able to test the speed of the CPUs. And here the 5800X was faster than the 5700G it was faster by almost 4 frames per second. And this on long videos makes a big difference. So here on the 19 minute video, it was 4 minutes almost faster than the Ryzen 7 5700G. And also to test the absolute speeds of these CPUs, I'm performing here a 7-zip benchmark. And was no surprise, the 5800X was faster than the 5700G. And here I kept all the settings by default in the benchmark of 7-zip. So the time it took for the 5800X to finish the job was 1 minute 25 seconds. Whereas the 5700G took 1 minute 44 seconds to finish the job. In my next test also I'm exporting a video. But now I'm using Handbrake. So I took the same video that I exported in VSDC. So this is a 19 minutes 4K 30 frames per second video. And using Handbrake I'm exporting it to Super HQ 1080p 30 frames per second. And here also the 5800X is faster than the 5700G. It is faster by 5 frames per second and this will save you a whopping 5 minutes in this export operation. So at the end what CPU should you choose? If you don't have a discrete GPU in your PC, the 5700G is the obvious choice because it has integrated Radeon graphics. But if you have a discrete GPU and especially if this discrete GPU is PCIe 4.0, the 5800X is the better choice. This CPU is PCIe 4.0, so your overall experience will be faster than with the 5700G and it is faster in all the operations that I tested it with. Now budget wise, both CPUs are sold at the same price almost all the time, but don't forget that you need to purchase a CPU cooler for the 5800X because it comes without a CPU cooler. Now the AMD stock cooler that comes with the 5700G, even though it does the job, it's not like the best cooler out there. So I have a video comparing this cooler to a Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition and the difference is very big between these two coolers. If you want to check out this video, you can look at the link in the description to check out this video. I hope that you liked this video and you found it useful and most importantly that this video will help you in your choice in choosing an AMD CPU for your PC. I want to thank you all for watching and if you like this video please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and this will help the channel greatly and this way you will not miss any future videos I make. I'm Eloy, I want to thank you once again for watching, see you on the next video.